Hey there, guys. Hope you're all doing fantastically. Welcome to the live show. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get motivated. Uh, this has been something that's come up so regularly lately. Had another conversation today around this. And what I wanted to do is talk about this in a little bit more depth today for you guys to really start moving yourself forward, right? Motivation is a thing that a lot of people associate success around. How do I get motivated? How do I do more? How do I become more? What do I do? What does that look like? Like a lot of people have a tendency to get caught in a lot of details when it comes to uh, getting motivated. A lot of people have a tendency to stay where they are because, you know, they're not quote unquote motivated. So uh, I'm going to be talking about today how to get motivated and more importantly, what I want to do instead is change that to a better word, which would be uh, inspired. So how to get inspired to take action, to move your life forward. So this is not only a business talk today, this is a real life talk. And it's around how do you move yourself forward every single day? How do you progress over just being perfect, the perfection, the perfectionist mentality, right? How do you go about moving yourself forward every single day? How do you progress, move forward, develop yourself, become more, be more, do more? How do you go about doing that? That's all we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking around specifically how do you get motivated, but not only just how do you get motivated, how do you become inspired? For me, throughout like my sporting career, my life, business, all this type of stuff, right? Everybody fights with this one M word, okay? Everyone fights with it. They have your up days, you have your down days, you have your days where you just completely launch things and you go to a whole new level and you just literally, like nothing can stop you, everything you touch it as turns to gold. I've had those days, right? Like in my sporting career, I had uh, days where, you know, nobody could catch me. I was so fucking strong. I was like, you know, I, I wasn't getting tired. Uh, you know, I would just go, go, go. And just like, nobody could keep up, right? And you have those days. And then you have those other days where you just feel like, you, you know, you've got less lead in the bottom of your feet or you've got this lead in your, in your wheels on your bike, right? Which is what I was at. And some days you just can't get yourself going, right? So it's like, what is the difference and how do you get yourself to a state where everything is, you're just motivated, you're inspired, you move forward, you start taking more action. And really, I was, I was thinking before five main things that I use in order to do this and how to stay motivated, stay inspired. In the, even when you go off track sometimes, which I still do, and I know everybody does in the business world, everyone goes off track from time to time, shiny object syndrome, all this type of stuff. However, how do you get yourself back on track? How do you become the person that you were born to be? How do you uh, work on this? How do you make it happen? Because really, I find there's three main things, okay, that gets people inspired. And it's really about finding what is the intrinsic motivator for you, right? What's the intrinsic motivator for you as a person? How are you motivated? Are you motivated by money, right? Are you motivated by things, right? Obtaining that next thing. Are you motivated by, uh, you know, people? being around people, helping people. Are you motivated by helping people, right? Are you a server or are you someone that's just motivated by, uh, you know, money and things, right? And if it's okay, whichever way it is for you, right? Everyone's individual. We cannot say, oh, it's bad to be, you know, uh, uh, motivated by money. Well, no, it's not. Some people are just motivated that way. They're motivated by something, right? They're motivated by getting 10 grand in their bank account. They're motivated by getting 50 grand in their bank account, right? And that they'll be motivated to and they'll be like a dog with a bone until they get it, right? That's how some people are motivated and that's okay. That's the individual situation. That's who they are as people, okay? Doesn't mean they're a bad person. Doesn't mean they're a good person. It just means that that's what they're motivated by, right? So number one, you guys have got to really find out, and this isn't going into it yet, right? It's, just, it's like you guys have got to find what it is that you are motivated by, 
what inspires you to take more action? Because really only these three things I find is money, things, right? Stuff, right? Uh, houses, cars, whatever it is, right? Or it is people, right? Motivated by helping people, serving people, right? I look at me and what I'm motivated by. I'm motivated by people. When people say, I can't do something, I do it. And I'll, go, I'll move the ends of the earth in order to make it happen, right? There will be no way anybody will stop me when they say, you can't do that. Okay, why not? Free country, I can do anything I want, right? That's my mentality. That's how I was brought up. I was brought up to know that anything I want, I can get, right? It's just the process to get there, right? If you don't know the process, you got to find somebody to give you the process and show you the process in order to get there. However, you got to understand what your intrinsic motivating factor is of you, right? And here's some ways to be able to really start doing that. And I was going to give you five, but I'm actually going to give you six. I've forgotten what the sixth one was right now. It'll come to me as we go. So this is exactly how you do it. Number one is you've got to be writing goals, right? You got to know what the target is. Okay, so you got to know what the target is that you want. If there's no target, you won't achieve anything. You won't go towards anything if there's no target. So you got to understand what that target is first. What is it that you want? And some people go, oh, you know, like, um, you know, I want to, you know, do, uh, uh, you know, I want to do this, right? I want to do a, you know, I've, I've got to do my content plan for my social media. Well, that's, that's not a motivating thing. That doesn't motivate, right? I've got to do my social media content plan. I've got to find a way to get more clients. That's, that's not motivating, guys. Unfortunately, that is not motivating. That doesn't motivate you to want to do something. That just goes, I've got some fucking work to do, right? That's not a motivating factor. So you got to find what, it, you, you got to set some goals. You got to get yourself a target right? And you got to think big, right? And you got to think like, you can think something achievable, but it's got to be inspiring in some way, shape or form for you to do it. Otherwise, you're never going to do it. It's just something on a piece of paper. So you got to write down your goals and you got to go, what is it that I want? And you got to think of it like this. What is my, if I could achieve anything, what would it be? If I could achieve anything in my life, what would it be? And it's like, don't overthink it. It's just get it on paper. What is it that I want? I want a fucking Ferrari. I want a um, you know, two-story house. Whatever it is, what's the... And you got to know what the intrinsic motivator is for you. And I say intrinsic because it's intrinsic, okay? It motivates you from a deeper level. It inspires you to take the actions necessary in order to hit the goal. However, you got to know and understand what the goal is right? And you got to think of it in through multiple different ways. You think about it through multiple ways. Relationships. What do I want for my relationships? Personally and uh, uh, private, okay? So like a girlfriend, boyfriend, um, you know, half and half, whatever it is that you want, right? You got to understand what you want. And it's like, what is that? What's the relationship look like? Spirituality, right? How do I want to feel every single day? What do I believe in What's the goal for that? How do I want to feel? What do I want to do? Right? Spiritually, right? What's the type of lifestyle I want to be living spiritually, right? Then it's after that, it's like, what do I want for my finances? What, what's the goal that I want for my finances? Write that down. What is it for your finances? Uh, write down career, right? You got to have all aspects of your life put down on a piece of paper so you know what you want. If you don't know what you want, you won't get it right? You'll just be down a never ending spiral of, you know, depression or whatever else or beating yourself up because you're not achieving anything or you don't feel like you're achieving anything. So, you, so the, the uh, career, the last one is your health, right? Five main areas of your life. You want to write down what is it that you want? If I could achieve anything, what is it that I want as a person, what is it for me as a person, right? What is it that I want? 
it's not what you know you gotta do or you know like hey i gotta do my content plans you know i've gotta go to the gym and uh, i've gotta eat healthier uh, you know I've, I've gotta um you know uh get more sleep you know like none of that's motivating right like it's just something that you gotta do right which brings me to the second thing it's like your language your language speaks everything about you right um, there's a book called The Art of Coaching, and it talks about seven levels of listening. So you talk to somebody about, you know, what they love to do. And they're like, you know, I, I, I've, I've got a plan. My plan this weekend is I'm, I'm going out with my friends, right? And that's what someone will say. I'm going out with my friends this weekend, Right. And then you'll say, okay, what's your plan to grow your business? Oh, I've got to do a content plan. I've got to, you know, write some Facebook ads to, to you know, um, get, bring in some leads and stuff. And what do you notice about language then, right? You talk about something that inspires someone. They go, I will do this. I planned this. I am doing this. That's what they say. And then, you know, when you're talking from the other level of this, uh, you start talking about what people's plan is to grow their business or to generate leads or whatever, they speak in a very different language, which is what they've got to do, what they're going to do, what they think is a good thing, what they're going to try to do, right? Your language speaks everything. I, this, this is the level of psychology and language that I wish I had have known when I was 18. I went to the gym this morning Right? I've got up at 4.35 a.m., the only time that I've got to be able to do health right? as my goal, which is my goal that I'm setting for myself. I want to get under 90 kilos. Right? Why do I want to do it? Because I want to feel, I want to feel, I want more energy. I want to feel better. Right? I, want to, I want to be able to get on a live stream with you guys and show you some freaking energy and fire right? so I can pump you guys up to do some more right this is how this is this is part of i want to do what we want to do our mission is to turn people from business warriors worrying about things every single day into business warriors so as part of that for me i am working on my health i uh, and you know i will get up at 4 35 a.m in the morning it's just the latest that i can get up to get ready to go to the gym and wake myself up and everything right and i'm in there by five it's about five minutes down the road. I leave here at about uh, sort of 4.53, 4.55 of the morning, okay? Every single day, like not every single day. Sorry, I said every single day. Not every single day. Three days a week is what I've been doing. This week, I'll do four, okay? Right? Your language speaks everything. Words like try, gonna, gotta, all these words are setting you up for fail, failure. And it's okay. It's just what we've grown up with saying. You get a choice. You can be a doer or you can be a gunner person. Gunners are always going to do something but never do anything. Doers do things. They say, I am, I will. So the first thing is the, 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 the next thing, right? So number one is writing the goals down and writing them across the five different areas of your life. The second one is uh, being conscious of the language you use. And if you speak to successful people, right, people that are running multi-million dollar businesses, right, every, success is defined differently with different people, right? For me, it's defined as someone who is, is running something successfully in their life, right? So whether they're successful at their health and, you know, they've reached the pinnacle of health or they've reached the pinnacle of business or they've reached the pinnacle of finances, right? they have a very different language. They don't say try. They don't say gonna. Uh, they they don't, don't say I gotta, right? They say, well, I do this and I do this, I do this. I, and when you say to them, can you do this? They say, I will do that, right? Or they say, I won't, right? Sorry, I cannot do this at this stage. But they don't beat around the bush. They don't give you a half ass story. They don't give you the whole roundabout reasons why they can't do something. They just say, I will do it. I won't do it. Simple as that. Your language means everything. Your language speaks everything when it comes to 
motivation, moving yourself forward, taking more action, getting inspired. Your language speaks everything, right? I can tell everything about someone just by listening to their language, right? I get on calls with new perspective clients, and this is how attuned I am now. When someone say, says to me, I, you know, I tried doing this, but it didn't work, or I try every day to do this, or it's like they will then try to justify, and I'm using try, try to justify the reasons why, why they aren't getting something or they aren't doing something instead of just being straight to the point, right? So your language means everything, right? So speak, speak and be more conscious of the words that you're using and you'll start getting different results, okay? So uh, language is everything. So one is goals. Number two, uh, no, sorry, one is writing down your goals and putting them in front of you every single day so you can see them. I've got a business goals sitting in front of me all time. I can watch them. I can see them. I know where I'm at. I track them, okay? Every single day. I'm looking at it. How can we make this happen? What can we do to be able to do this? Uh, what have we got to do before the end? What must we do before the end of the month? See, I corrected myself. I said, gotta, right? And it's okay to use gotta from time to time. However, it's like in the context of the question that you've used. What must I do in order to be able to hit this? I'm looking at it. I'm tracking it. I'm doing it. I'm watching it. It's there in front of me every single day. Goals, they're written down. I know what I want. I've got them on the wall. I look at them every time I go out the door, right? I see it. It's there. It's embedded into my mind. I know and I'm looking at what can I do every single day to do this. The second one, I am very, very conscious of the language that I use. Language is everything. It speaks the truth. The truth is behind the words, by the way. If someone tries... If someone has got to do something, if someone is, you know, uh, thinking about doing something, right, then that language is setting someone up for fail means you're going to do nothing. However, if you say, I am going to do it, I will do it, that's how people that have re like reached the pinnacle of certain successes in their life, right, when they've reached that pinnacle of it, that's the language they use. If you know someone who is successful at health, for example, a bodybuilder or someone like that who's reached the pinnacle of health, and you ask them, you know, how did you go about doing it? What is your lifestyle like? How do you, like, what do you eat during the day? How do you plan, do you plan it, right? Like what, you ask them questions, they're going to use language. Okay, so I do this, I do this, I do this. I always make sure I do this, I do this. That's, that's how they talk, right? So health, that, speak to someone who's successful in their health, who's got really good health, that's reached the pinnacle of something, that's how they'll speak. So, and it's the same with finances, spirituality, relationships, all that type of stuff. That's what the level of language that someone uses, right? So be conscious of your language, number two. Number three, right? And I've touched on this already. Uh, every single day, you want to be looking at your goals and you want to be focusing three key areas down not this massive to-do list that you know like when you know those movies that um you know the the squire comes out and he's got this little like page all rolled up and then he goes like this and it goes Zoom, out the door right it's in cartoons and all this sort of stuff the squire and he goes so first thing on the list today sir is this 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 and he keeps reading through it and it's like a massive thing long and the other person's like falling asleep right because it's such a long list right and something like that is when people go into overwhelm and they do nothing because there's no focus there's no clarity on what do i what must i do in order to get to here right there's only three main things that you should be focusing on every single day. Three, that's it. Only three that you should be focusing on. Sometimes it's even less. And the more simple you can make things, the more action you'll take. Okay? So focusing on three things every day that's going to get you to the result. Tracking it. Working out new ways 
strategically every single day to be able to get towards that goal. Okay. The next one is like, how are you going to get to the goal, right? So you've got these goals, these big goals, things you want to achieve. You want to know the steps to get to there. What are the steps that I'm going to take that I will be taking to be able to get there? Baby steps, right? So it's like, okay, cool. Um, you know, my target is to do 50 grand this month in business sales. Right? Okay, cool. Where should I be after a week? Where will I be uh, after two weeks? Where will I be on the third week? Where will I be on the fourth week, right? How, what should I be doing in sales per day? What should I be doing in sales every single week, right? And tracking it, okay? What did we do yesterday? How many in sales did we do yesterday? Uh, are we on track? No. What are we going to do to get there? What are we going to do differently today to get to the goal? These are the questions you've got to be asking yourself. And, you know, you guys have really probably got to go through this whole video a few more times as well to really get it because it's like super valuable to be able to help you guys get more motivated, more on track, more inspired to take more action and actually start achieving more. This is how people do more during the day, right? Or move towards their goals a lot quicker, which is what I want you guys to do, right? So three things that you're going to be going through every day. Uh, then it's how are you going to get there? What are the steps that you will take in order to get there? These are like the little micro commitments along the way that you'll get to that bigger goal, okay? And you can do anything. It's just you got to strategically think on how will I get there? What are the steps? Who are I going to speak to? How many people are I going to speak to? What is it that I must do in order to get the goal? These are the types of questions you should be asking yourself, right? And you should be doing it every single day. I'm checking in on it every single day. I'm looking at it every single day. And I'm looking for additional ways to be able to make it happen. Right? The next one. You will have mornings where you won't feel like doing a freaking thing still. Life will still kick you in the nuts. Or kick you in the stomach. Or whatever else. It will. You'll have bad days where days just don't go as well as you want them to. Then you'll have other days where things you'll just turn to gold. Okay. That will happen. It's a part of life. It happens to everybody. Now, the thing is, you got to, to be able to be more inspired, more motivated. When the goings get, the going actually gets really tough. That's when the tough people get going. So it's about looking at how can you stimulate yourself to get out of this? And there's several different ways to do it. Exercise is a great one. Exercise. So going and working on your health, going to the gym in the morning, like doing push-ups or something to be able to change your state, state management, energy management, right? This is what's really important. So cold showers, another great way to do it. And a good way to push your mind as well, because your mind thinks, oh my God, this cold water is going to hurt me as soon as I get in it, but it's just freaking water, right? Like it's just freaking cold water. Like it's not going to do anything to you. Well, why, why, why would cold water hurt you, right? It's not as if it's like steaming hot, uh, 100 degree water, right? Like that's going to freaking hurt. And you've got a good reason to feel like it. But it's just cold water, man. Like, it's not going to do anything with you. So uh, having a cold shower is a great thing. Like, heaps of stuff there from a guy named Wim Hof who talks about, you know, the cold and the mind around it and, you know, breathing, the importance of breath, breath work, etc. Really great ways to be able to stimulate yourself and change your state, right? Cold showers do that. Exercise does that. Um, using that throughout your day to recharge yourself and rechange that state is really, really important. So you've got to have ways to stimulate yourself as a person. And it's about finding time to do that as well. So it's putting time in the calendar. The unsuccessful people will say, I do not have the time. The successful people and the people that are already busy quote unquote, I don't like using the word busy because busy states that you're just busy doing things and you're not doing getting anywhere, right? Fitting it into your schedule in order 
to because well, once it's in the schedule you will do it right so it's it's getting that put in place and doing it which is the next comes to the next one <laughs> so i'm actually going to give you a few more today right so the next one is uh planning your day planning your day a lot of people get up and they go i've got to do this today they get up they've got no real plan they don't know what they're going to do they don't know how they're going to start and they sit there and they waste like one to two hours of time of a day sometimes more for some people they scroll through facebook they do all this sort of stuff there's no real intention and life without an intention uh receives no attention right so like the goals do not come you do not achieve the goals so for business owners right you guys have got to start treating yourself like an employee once i got out of the mindset of like i'm free i can do anything i want with my day um you know all this sort of stuff once i got all of that out of my head and i started treating myself like an employee that is when the real game changed because like the freedom the all this sort of stuff that we like a lot of people talk about in business and stuff like that you can achieve it but however you've got to there's still times in the day where you've got you must have a uh, business time right set time for things have structure structure your days effectively so that you can actually go through and achieve things you think back to the time imagine the time where you last sat an exam at school for some of you that may be uh 40 years ago 50 years ago for some of you that might have been 10 years ago some of you might have been just recently right that you sat exams and what do they say when you go into an exam you have 2 hours well first of all actually they say your exam is 10 o'clock on friday okay so that's there you know that your exam is 10 o'clock on friday and you got to be prepared otherwise if you get to this point of coming to this exam and you're not prepared you're going to fail it right so first of all you're told in advance that 10 a.m. on friday is your exam time then you're told in advance you have 2 hours to complete when you sit down for your exam what does the teacher say at the front of the room you have 2 hours to complete your test turn over the paper start and what happens the time starts okay so things that don't have structure expand things that don't get scheduled into the calendar don't get done because they're not important so you guys have got to plan your day plan it effectively and treat yourself like an employee right and you got to ask yourself would i fire me for the level of action that i've done would i still have a job if i was working for somebody else and for a lot of you the answer is going to be no you wouldn't and that's the reality once you get out of the mindset right the mindset where it is right now around business freedom you know i can control my day do whatever i want you can control your day however you've still got to start treating yourself in the mentality of being an employee so you get more done throughout the day and you have structures tasks to complete you have time frames for each one of those and you you you're getting things done that's what it's about time frames seeing yourself like an employee right so that's number 6 i think was it 6 you guys counting let me know what am i at now uh, <laughs> the last one is a lot of people are doing things by themselves a lot of people are trialing an error doing their best to you know with the best like opportunity that they have available to them the things that are available to them right now however it doesn't work conversations with people recently you must find someone to hold you accountable you got to find yourself a mentor i look at every mentor that i've ever invested money in i've got elementally extravagantly massive amounts of knowledge from and the cool thing is every mentor that i've been in touch with i've got to look beside behind their business as well what's working what's not working how do they structure things 
What's the process? What systems are involved? How, like, I've got access to all of this as well. And what does that give me? That gives me the power to then look at my business and go, I can just, you know, save myself the time and energy of working it out myself, right? And I can just grab what they've got, work out how to put it in my business. If they've got templates and things like that for me, I can put that in and I can do it. So finding yourself mentors will not only help you speed up the time frame of getting more done, however, it'll speed up your success and it will also enable you to not make the same mistakes and see what's working, see what's not working, but more importantly, hold you accountable to actions. For a lot of people, they're not accountable. They've got no accountability. They're working by themselves. They're throwing money against marketing, uh, hoping that something will stick and something will work. And things just don't work like that. Conversation late last night. I've been throwing money at, like, use the, listen to the language, this exact language. I've been throwing monkey money, throwing monkey, I've been throwing money at marketing for years and it hasn't worked for me. I have been throwing, throwing, right, money at marketing for years and it hasn't worked for me. So throwing is in, you know, there's no strategy. There's no process. It's just hope that something's going to stick. And that mentality costs you a lot of money. And look at it this way. Someone said to me years, they've been doing this. They've been spending $200 a month times by 12 that's $2,400 thrown away. Times that by two years, that's $4,800 thrown away. Okay? That's, that's not a small amount of money. That's, that's money, right? That's, that's money earned by a business owner. And when it's thrown at something, like, yeah, you know, we're throwing 200 this month, but we're doing it next month. We're doing it for 12 months, two years, three years, it's mounting up like three years is a, is a long time to throw things at a wall and hope that something's going to stick. It's the definition of doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, right? This person though has taken some actions now and had, cause the pain, right? And this is, this is another thing that will force you guys to go to another level. It's the pain of being in that spot for so long that one day you wake up and go, I'm never going to do this again. I do not want to feel like this again. I'm sick and fucking tired of doing all of this work and getting nowhere. Not getting the result that I've got. I know I'm awesome. I know I get great results. I know I've got the right intentions to help people. I know that I've got everything that it takes. However, something's not working. What I'm doing right now is not working for me. And that person goes, Jared, investing. Let's do this. Action, right? Hey, I can do this to get started, right? I can do this to get started. I can do this to get started. Not like, you know, the normal mentality of people go, I haven't got the money. I, uh, you know, I haven't got the resources. I'm not ready yet. All this type of stuff. They haven't felt the pain enough of that situation to be able to want to take things forward. So all I can say is like, get that pain built up inside of you. Find a way to build the pain up. The pain is the thing that will help you move forward faster as well. Right? You got to feel it in your gut, squirming. Get it squirming faster. I wish I had have got the pain squirming in my stomach faster of staying in the same spot because who knows where I would have been today. However, the past is history. The future is a mystery. And the things that we do today are exactly what will move us towards the result. Conversation I had today, right, which has brought this 
whole, like the conversation I had today, plus many others that I've had this week as well, and last week, and the week before that has brought this particular live stream to you guys today. And when there's some people that are having this challenge, there's other people that are still having the challenge. Note, I didn't use problem because it's not a problem. You guys don't have any problems, okay, right? All it is is just a challenge or a barrier or something that's holding you back from stepping into a better version of yourself. And, you know, it's something that everybody goes through. I just want to help you punch through it faster. That's what it's about. So all of these steps, these things that I've spoken to you about today is going to give you everything that you could possibly need in order to move forward. So number like this, this is the this is the facts. Get the pain squirming up inside of you right now. Like even just drop it. If you if you're if you're like just sick of it, drop it into the comments. Let everybody hear about it, right? Because when you also make it public, that's when you know other people. Uh, you know you, you've got your vulnerability out there, right? And that pain then squirms up so much, uh, let it out. Let that pain squirm up so much that you literally go, I'm fed up with this. I will not do this anymore. I am sick and tired of being tired. I'm sick and tired of staying where I am. And I am not going back there. And I've said that to myself so many times in my life around money, around health around like my energy levels around my business results around my my sporting results right all this side of stuff and when i built up that pain so much of staying where i am i actually decided to do something about it the sooner you can do that the better number two write down your goals know what you want put an intention out there of something that you want what is that thing that you want Number three, how are you going to get there? Break down the steps. How are you going to get there? And track it daily. Number four, what are the three things that you're going to focus on every week and every day to get you to that result? Wipe out the rest. Focus on the three things. Three major things are going to help you get there. Three actions. So if it's like income is a thing for you, right? The action is tracking my money, where it's going in and out. Number two is how am I going to make more, right? Notice the language. Number three is what are the action steps that I must be taking every single day in order to do it and continue doing those actions, right? So if money is a thing and you're in sales, you just jump, you got to make more calls. You must make more calls. Speak to more people, brush up on my sales skills, uh, uh, ask for feedback, get a training course on how to become better at sales, right? Reach out to someone that's good at sales, pick their brain, learn every single day, do it, jump on more calls, make more calls, right? Volume in sales is everything. The more calls you make, the more results you'll get, right? And pick in your skill levels, picking up and brushing up in your skill levels, right? Uh, number four, <laughs> number four, right? Number four, is that right? Number five, number five. Uh, so number five is uh, stimulate yourself. Or actually, no, number five is language. Be careful of your language, the words that you use every single day. It's not, I gotta, I'm gonna. It's not, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'll try to do this. I'll think about what I'm going to do next. That's mm -hmm. not the language. The language is, I'm going to do this. I will do this. Use the correct language. Your language speaks everything. That's number five. Number six is, right, I've gone over today and I do this every single day because I want to over deliver for you guys. Uh, find a way to stimulate yourself every day. You're going to go through negative bits. You're going to go through slumps. You're going to go through hard days. You're going to go through freaking fantastic days. It's going to happen. It will happen. Not going to say that everything's going to be rosy, right? However, your focus is stimulate yourself to pick up your energy levels so you can do more uh, and pull yourself out of these states. Ways to do it. Uh, working on your health, right? Uh, you know, finding ways to be able to pick up your energy levels. When a lot of the time when we go into a state of overwhelm or we go into a state of, you know, 
confusion or whatever it is the language is that you're using um, we go into it and we're in a slumped state shoulders are forward and we're talking down in a voice that isn't really positive right the, the best way to do that is find a way to stimulate yourself uh, whether you do some push-ups you have a cold shower for 10 minutes and you uh, you bear it and you're jumping around and you're like oh this is freezing right do that for 10 minutes, change your state. Dance, listen to some music. If you're more of like a person that is, you know, stimulates themselves through music, right? Um, go for a walk, go for a sprint, right? Um, go to the gym, something like that. Break your day up, stimulate yourself. That's the six things to get more motivated, more inspired and counteract things to take yourself to a whole new level, right? Comment below, what are your goals? Let's hold you accountable, okay? So comment below, let me know what your goals are. What will you do differently to be able to achieve your goals faster? And if you want, I've got clients that can help you uh, get more direction and clarity around what you want. And I'm happy to refer across um, some of their sort of tools in order to do that. And we're working with uh, some of the, you know, most experienced uh, experts around the mind, experts around, you know, things like cybersecurity, experts around finances, experts around, um, you know, business structure, all these types of things, right? So we've got a lot of people in our network that we can help you uh, with to gain access to someone that can help you get that if you need assistance with it, okay? So it's not always me that would come and like solve these problems uh, or challenges, sorry, not problems. Now problems is nothing wrong with you. It's just a challenge to get you to the next level. That's all it is. Um, so if you need that assistance, you just let us know and hey, we will refer someone on to you, okay? So it's about how can you move forward every single day, take more action, achieve more of what you want in your life. You got business partners, right? Right? But here's a choice. Are you moving towards their goals? Right? You got your own goals in your own mind of things that you want to achieve as well, personally. It's not all about you and your business partner, unfortunately. Right? And, you know, Serena's got goals that she wants to achieve. I've got goals that I want to achieve. We've got collective goals that we want to achieve as well. Right? And, it's about working towards all of this. It's your own personal goals that will motivate you more. And it's about finding what that intrinsic motivator is for you and, you know, how you are motivated as a person. So go back over this whole video. I know it's long. It's like 40 odd minutes long at the moment, borderline getting to 50 minutes, right? So... Uh, go over this video, write it all down. So like get it all out on paper and start looking at these areas in your life. Spend a couple of hours this evening, right? Get rid of, you know, broke flicks, Netflix. Get rid of broke flicks and Netflix this afternoon, right? Um, and or this evening and sit down with a notepad, right? Go through this video in depth. Pause it, stop it, write something down. Pause it, stop it, write something down. Pause it, stop it, write something down. And what I do is I know a lot of people go when they read books and all this type of stuff and listen to videos, they go, um, uh, they read it, they put it back on the shelf, they never do anything with it again. However, we only obtain 10% of what we actually go through, right? And you're not going to hear it all. So what I do, I've got my favorite books that I go through, right? And I listen to them multiple times. Every single time I get something new, right? Every single time I get something new. And it's the same with video as well. So don't just make this a video you listen to once. Make it something that you listen to several times. You'll hear something differently every single time and something will click with you every single time that will help take you to a whole new level, right? It'll give you that aha moment aha wow 
I didn't get this before. However, I have now. That's the type of moments that you want. That's the type of moments that up level you, that inspire you, that take you to a whole new level. Because every single one of you that watch here, this stream, are capable of 10 times more than what you're currently doing. Why do I know that? Because I know a lot of you that are alive, number one. And number two, I also know and I believe the fact that whatever it is that you're doing right now, if you're watching this live stream, if you're watching this page, there's things that you could be doing better. And you, all it's going to take is just acquiring that skill to be able to up-level yourself. You will get it from this page. So make sure you follow it. Make sure you see everything first. Make sure you go through it in depth. Make sure you don't make it just another video that you watch on social media. Make it a video that you actually implement something. And hey, if just a free video here on Facebook adds some value to you, gives you an aha moment, just give us a review at the top of the page. That's all I ask. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this one up for today. What I want you guys to do is like and share the stream, like this, like this video, um, share it out to more people so more people can hear it really. Like if we can just help one more person every day, if all you do is share this and just one person watches it and that one person goes, ah, I'm more motivated now, I'm inspired or just gives them a little bit more action to take one more thing to get them towards their goals and their dreams, that's, that's the job done, right? So like and share it out. Let more people hear it. If just one person gets this video and really understands it and, and, and implements it, that's fantastic. That's all we ask, right? That's all we want to do. One person at a time, uh, doing it, taking actions, making things happen. That's all it's about. And for you guys, if you have any questions as well, feel free to hit us up in the comments and I'll get those answered for you. So welcome, uh, welcome, Serena. Welcome, uh, Steve. Welcome, Veronique. Welcome, Lucia. Welcome, Beck. Welcome, Indran. Welcome, Ricardo. Welcome, Ida. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, Indran. Uh, welcome, Luke. Welcome, Nathan. Uh, welcome, all of you. And hope you're all doing fantastically. And if there is any other questions, just hit us up. Um, let me just double check a couple of these. Uh, draw a mind map of your life or a dream board start off then draw a mind map uh yep cool how it looks and all the end steps to get there yep fantastic serena i love that book called the art of coaching i need to confirm that name i'm pretty sure it's called the art of coaching uh it's a really really good book it's in a series there's several volumes to it as well um uh that's a long list when i go through everything need to do or yeah see notice language we need to do Okay, right. So that's the language I'm talking about as well. So it's like needs to I understand what you mean though, Serena. Um, uh, I missed the first part of the start. Yeah, okay. Uh, three ways, tracking, rural, micro. Yeah, Serena's just put it all down. Fantastic. Great. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, if you do not fight for your own freedom, absolutely nobody else will. So every single day, you must get out there, take action, make it happen. And remember to implement what we've spoken about today. Implement into your life. Go through the video. Stop it. Pause it. Rewatch it. Right? Continue to do that every single day. And remember to be the warrior. And I'll speak to you guys on the next live stream. See you tomorrow, 12 o'clock Perth Western Australia time. Follow the page up the top. Make sure you follow it so you see everything first. And I'll speak to you all soon. See you guys.